Well, this is it. Our journey has come to its end. Our lives, as we know them, are over. What? College! We're adults now! <laughs> no, 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 seriously though. I just wanted to say thanks for coming out, fellow breathers. We are officially college graduates. So congrats, monkeys. There's beer in the pool, uh, condoms in the fridge. And if you can't be careful, there's a clinic like three blocks down. They'll do you cheap if you give them our promo code. Okay, we came, we saw. If we leave now, we can still make the donut place. Let's go before Whoa, we get recognized. Milo. I almost didn't recognize you. Hi, Allison. Can you believe we graduated? And what better way to end school than with an indigenous late century style mixer coupled with property damage and substance abuse? Well. Oh, I love that, that y your outfit, Lola. Yeah, this is, it's fun, right? I kept telling Lola we should have hung out with you guys more. Then why didn't you? You don't need me to go, we're not each other's sidekicks. Because he needs his wingman, wing human. Who wants to get drunk? Let's get a drink, like right now. Come on, the table's right, it's here. Oh, whatever speeds this process up. Oh, and I'm sorry, this is my cousin, Katie. She's gonna be starting here in the fall. Hey. I was just telling her about you guys, how you've been friends forever, like a weirdly long time. Everyone always thinks you're dating. <laughs> no, 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 never ever, ever. I know now, but ever. Okay, don't need to salt the earth. Leave me a fingernail of dignity here. No, I'm, I'm just saying it'd be too weird now. You're wonderful. You know you're wonderful. But you can't date someone you've already seen cry at a coffee commercial. Let's drink! Come on, they have them right over here. Are we getting that drink, Milo? Hi. Is this... Is this where the, uh, the ales are? It's all $2 vodka mixed with $3 lemonade. Want one? Yes, please. Milo? Lola? Uh, it really helps pave over those awkward beats in the conversation. You could almost say it literally gives you more options in life. It's evolutionary, you know? I read somewhere that monkey humans invented alcohol. In the same epic that the octopus got that eighth leg, finally. Yeah, I, I probably need something to, uh, to settle me a little. Don't get too settled. I'm not dragging your ass through the quad ever again. That shady chiropractor said my skeleton looked like a question mark. Yeah, so, do you guys want one? They're getting warm. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, fine. I, uh, always take one if he does, and vice versa. Makes it so we can lie to each other about how drunk we're getting. <laughs> Attention, all skin bags who now have to pay taxes. Please make your way to the dance floor. It's time to shake. <laughs> okay, really quick, give Katie meaningful life advice about higher learning. Mine was don't major in philosophy, law, any form of medicine, or theology, because those are all career suicide. Oh, and don't buy your books from the campus store. You don't want the clerk there knowing your pin number. <laughs> life advice. Uh, try to make more friends than I. Yeah, that's good, thanks. Keep in touch. Allison Haynes, ladies and gentlemen. And seriously, don't take offense at that. I meant it when I said you were wonderful. No, it's fine. Allison's just an idiot. Can't wait to read her posts about her summer vacay. <laughs> Drinking pina coladas out of some cruise boat magician's navel. Yeah, she seemed a little, uh, sloopy. Sloopy? Sloppy Christ, I can't even say the damn. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna let that be the last meaningful conversation you ever have at school. No, if you want to go, we can go. Oh, no, 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 no. We're leaving. This is us just saying bye to some folks on our way out the door. So pick whoever looks the least stupid and make this quick. <laughs> you crack me up, though. Yeah, Allison, I keep telling stupid Lola how fun parties are. But she's allergic to having a good time, so... That's you. That's what you sound like. <laughs> oh, shut up. You have me sounding like my mom dropped me on my head. Maybe she did. I don't know. Man, I will not miss this place at all. Not that I'm... I don't want to sound like I hated it. No, I know. It's just... I'm glad I'll never have another hot flash because someone's in my seat, that's all. Like, have you ever thought that what you consider your personality is is just the dream your unconscious body is having? Because I have. And all my teachers said I was very smart. No, totally. <laughs> wow, that's... That's deep, man. If I was scuba diving, I'd need time to stop the nosebleed. Sorry, this is Lola. I'm Milo. 
I think I... Didn't we have the same advanced frisbee class in... I know who you are. You're the one that gave blood and then immediately threw a ball over the auditorium in the annex. That... it wasn't that bad. <laughs> no, it was pretty bad. I think you're uh, thinking of... of another human. Like... like I'm the one that finished the triathlon behind that... that wheelchair guy? No, it was you. They had that two-page spread in the yearbook. Kappa Sigma gave you a nickname, right? The Recycler? Chunkamunk. Or was it Colonel Shitlips? Well, it was. Nice catch it up. Have a great summer. Bye. That? Okay, I know that could have gone better. Shitlips. I mean, Milo. <laughs> Who cares, man? Seriously, they're just being dickbags. Well, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like I'm a freshly born antelope just learning how to walk. I should know how to make adult friends by now. You just make it so much harder than it has to be. Okay, Sven fucking Ghoulie. You you go and talk to people and, and, and teach me. Show me the ropes. Let's... I, I want to see how easy it is. Let's... let's see. Hey, if that's what you want. My trick is just remembering that everybody's born screaming in terror. Whatever it takes. Go forth and show me how it's done. Hey, Billy, can you can you do me a favor and change the music up a little? I, I can't, actually. They only made one song for the DJ. What does that mean? I mean, yeah, a sure thing. Just after this one's done. I'm not thinking of dancing. I just want to stand here and watch for three seconds. <sighs> okay, noted. Want a cup? They're not going anywhere. Yeah, sure. Whatever. No, 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 no. When, when the guy was all, not today, and then the smoking hot chick was all, uh... Right? And those effects. Oh, I couldn't even tell those were in his hands. <gasps> and the score? Oh, if he doesn't get his Oscar. Forget the score, man. What about the sets? It was an eye candy smorgasbord. Table for one, please. Oh my god, I couldn't help but overhear you guys jizzing all over another artistically useless piece of capitalistic military grade garbage. <laughs> Don't people understand? These things are just commercials selling a lifestyle of pampered ignorance. Who are you? Hey, this is Lola. I'm Colonel Shitlips. We got it. Oh, come on, I. That was. Lola, did you say? <laughs> Are you auditing a student or shadowing some classes? And the school's not as good as the sites say, so. David, I gave you the Heimlich two years ago. I met your parents in the hospital. Remember, they kept touching my hair. Uh, wait, uh, you went to this school or you're going to this school? Okay, well, good to see you guys. Keep it, keep it up. Bye, lip flaps. Bye, Ebola. Milo, you wanted to mingle. Why are you sheepdogging me? Lola, they don't even remember you. And the only reason they remember me is because I pooped out of my mouth once. I mean, how sad is this? We went to the school. These are our peers. I sat next to that guy in at least four classes. Who cares what any of these people think about us? We graduated, remember? We are done with these idiots. Lola. College was a non-stop, inescapable popularity contest where the winners rule over an imaginary world. You think anyone in society is gonna care what they called you in college? What's gonna be etched on your metallic space crypt will be what you did in the actual real world. And the real world starts right fucking now. Everyone, hairy people, your attention please. Uh, stop, the awesome music. Is someone named Milo and Lola here? Actually, this is... That's probably two separate people. Milo and or Lola, are you here? Uh, is this like a prank, guys? Cause it's a Milo, little... Lola, I'm very sorry to tell you this, but both your parents were just run over by a train. What? They were scissored in half, but the wheels are keeping their guts in place. But as soon as they move the train again, their intestines will fall out of their bodies and they'll die. The EMTs are keeping them alive so you have time to be with them in their final moments. What? It's their last request. Milo, come on, they're just fucking with you. Huh? I'm so happy it's Friday, right? Thank God I don't have to do my kegels. Uh, 
Holy shit! Uh, are, are you? Oh. Oh, uh, do you... Are you... Is... What's happening to you, okay? Or... Lola, I... What? Is this a... <laughs> oh, look at them! They, 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 they still think they're alive! They think they're alive! <laughs> what? I, what is... <laughs> look at its dumb face! They're so confused! It's hilarious! Okay, what the fuck is going on? You freaks should know that my uncle's a volunteer fireman, so I can get an axe whenever I want. You want to know what's going on? Well, we'll tell you what's going on. Hey, what the hell's going on in here? This. We were just assisting in the transition I don't between. Want to hear it. I told you guys to wash the floors with pony blood, not fuck with the newborns. Clean all this shit up. I mean it. And Milo, Lola, you're late. Luckily, there's a processor down the road. And you better double time it if you want to get in before close. Uh, d double. double time it? It means do something twice as fast. Uh, late for what? The wildly expensive costume ball everyone is apparently going to? Sorry to break this to you, but I'm not a parade float. What? Th what? You died. Died? Ten minutes ago. I'd head to the process station now if I were you. What the... I... Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's go get processed. I... <laughs> and the rest of you? Put all this crap away. Some evil nuns are dying in a bus crash tomorrow. So, I want this place spotless. You're, you're probably used to this, but I, uh, we have a couple of questions. Wrong. You want the door there. I'm not a door. Go down the road. The processor will explain everything. Hey, I got tickets to the 19 Black Sox fighting a pack of wolves tonight. I can't really be doing overtime. The wolves have toy cop, asshole. So spoiler alert, the Sox are losing. remember how we got to the party. Was there a party? What do I know? Hey. Hi, hey, how's it going? Yeah, Tuesdays are always slow. The custodians get bored. You know how it is. But the processing station's just down the way there. Start walking. You can't miss it. I can't even remember, like, when did we go to that party? Was there a party? How did we even die? I can barely remember anything. Look at this place. What, what are we even standing on? Is this a rock? Why, why is it sticking to my shoes? You know what? Screw it. I don't even... This has to be a mistake. We, we had plans. And people can't die if they have plans. And they can't get sent to hell if they babysat their neighbor's kids for free! Look, right now, I can maybe remember 20 full days of my whole entire life, so I can't really say with absolute certainty I didn't purposely run over a giraffe at some point. Uh, I just can't believe this is happening! Hell cannot be real. It just doesn't make any sense. It's cheating! The whole universe shouldn't be that train station where I had my socks stolen. Hey, Milo, I'm as surprised as you are, okay? My mom made me go to church until I was 12. I mean, I, I just sat there and read Mad Magazine until I stopped hearing, Can I get a witness? Yes, this is wrong. Way wrong. And, and, and there better be somebody at this station whose job it is to file paperwork somewhere. And, and, and we'll, we'll get this. They'll fix it. It'll get fixed. We're, we'll be fine. Sure. You, you kind of paused there before you said sure, do you? You know that? It kind of makes it sound a little like you don't believe it. Yeah.
Wait, 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 look at this. It says, the scales of judgment, where Osiris weighed Satan against a feather in a drunken bet to see who gained the most weight over winter break? Hey, hey, either one of you guys, Jimmy Bolanger? James Whitney Bolanger? No, neither of us are whoever you're talking about, so don't, like, hurt us, please. Wrong vocation, but don't worry, I'm not too insulted. Well, sorry to bother you. Have a good one. Hey, hey kids. Hey, you wanna buy rug? Listen, I got dodecahedrons, punch bowls, uh, uh, the toilet covers with St. Michael's face on them. Sorry, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll come back later. Yeah, they all say that. Okay. Marcy Sullivan? Marcy Sullivan. Oh, yes? Here? Here! Marcy, how you doing? Mm, not too good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just proceed down to table three if you please. Thank you very much. Take as much. Take all day to get there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, now. Lola. Lola Wolf. Is there a Lola Wolf here? Uh, sir, I... We think there's been a mistake since, uh... Please hold all stupid questions and dumb comments till after this part so I don't have to deal with it. Thank you. How about Sang Bong? Is Sang Bong here? Milo, you're up. Sang Bong? Anybody know this guy? Uh, I... My friends usually call me Milo. A little overeager pluralizing friends there, but okay, sure. This... Okay, this is weird. It says you two are going together. Uh, what does that mean? Proceed on to table two, please. Uh, I'd like to get home before my wife gets the good spot in the garage. All right, moving, moving right along. Is there an Abby here? Abigail Cunningham. Here. Yes, I'm here. Yes, good, that's you. Miss Cunningham, did you die with any metal on you, any pieces of tin? No, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, sometimes the Aztec judges mistake it for a bribe. I've seen guys end up somebody's bocce ball just because they forgot they were wearing a dream catcher. Okay, Abby, table four's got your name on it. Do you do you know if, if, if is my mom uh, here? Probably. I mean, if she used air conditioning or ate tuna. Table four, please. Table two. Okay, that's... this must be us. You know, it's funny. I... I'm kind of... I feel like I'm sort of adjusting already. Like, I've just... I'm getting some level of emotional control, at least. Oh that... my god, Milo, we're dead. We're fucking dead! And we are in hell! How is this not hitting me before? We are in hell, and we are dead. Get a grip, Lola. You were the rock. Don't make me the rock. Okay, I can't be the rock. I am not fine. How was I fine? This this is insane. Literally, the worst thing that could possibly happen to us is happening to us right now. Hi, guys. I'm Barbados. No relation to the island, which ugh, I hate that I even have to say that now. I'll be doing your personality audit before the processing commences. I have your file here on my phone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming from the gym. Look, we there has there's been a mistake. We don't, we don't even know why or how we died, so... Yeah, you know how when you're a kid, you stop remembering your infancy past a certain age? It's because your brain reconfigures itself to make more room. Ditto here. So, when you pierce the mortal veil, only the important stuff stays. 
Phone numbers, the smell of your mother's hair. So, okay, so... Do you know how we died? I surely don't. No sir, no ma'am, not my department. I don't do collections. Wait, wait, make more room? For what? We're dead. And how? You're gonna be here for a very long time. Like, for eternity. And a lot of new, mostly painful memories need their baby rooms made up before delivery. Which means the spank bank is getting converted whether you like it or not. Look, I know what this is. I've seen white guys bribe hotel clerks in movies, okay? Just tell us what you want to let us go home. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow. Okay, this is novel, you two going together. Normally that's reserved for murder-suicides and moms with albino sons. <laughs> but we'll tag-team it, all right? Answer the following questions without thinking. Milo, regardless of the truth, have you ever suspected a lover was cheating on you? There are no wrong answers. Well, except that one. Uh, no, not really. No, not really. Okay, cool. All right, Lola, which image is closest to representing what was your ideal life? Closest, remember. Uh, okay, even though I'm sure this is a trap. The exec running shit. <laughs> I would have guessed that one for you. Ooh, I would have, that's so funny. You guys, can I just say, you're doing really well. Really? <gasps> oh, God. Come the fuck on, man. Okay, you see that head over there? Uh-huh. I, I mean... <laughs> All right, fling that thing up into the hamper like you're George Gervin. Good hand-eye coordination. I'll put you down as functioning mammal. <laughs> Lightning oh. round! This is a word association, so just say the first thing that pops into your head. Ring. Uh, whatever. Lola, drugs. No, thank you. Milo, crowds. Joy? Milo, I mean, Lola, break. Like taking a break? Ho, 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 what could this be, hmm? All the way from the deepest, darkest broom closets of your mind. Lola, what? The reigning pride of your ceaseless sorrow, the sultan of revulsion, the drain on your brain, that pebble in your shoe you just can't get out. I give you your personal demon! How in tarnation are you, man? I'm just so excited to be working with you, with anyone, really. It's just, I am so ready for this shit. We're gonna be a team, a real partnership. I want you to know that, oh crap, there's two of you? I I'm so sorry, little lady. I didn't see you there. But, uh, oh, let me start over, okay? Whew. I'm Sister Maria Warnborn, and I will be assisting you guys with your mental anguish here in hell. We're gonna be brain bunk mates. You're hungry, I'm hungry. Yeah, hi. Oh, hi! Sister Wormhorn here is your personal demon. Slow down, Barbados. What does that mean? Well, it's a comfort inhibitor only you and other demons can see. And it's so during your off hours, there's still somebody to nudge you into traffic sometimes. Off hours? Okay. Well, what, is, uh, what does that mean? Yeah, Dev, no. The fact that you only ate free-range chicken doesn't change anything. Okay, now that you have all been appointed your personal demons, we can now assign you your torture. Your torture will take place during regular office hours by a certified sadist. Exempting holidays and Medusa's birthday, even though I don't know why we bother that, that bitch still says she's 39. Her torture? I, I thought... Doesn't hell just, like, generically suck? Yeah, I didn't know there were seat assignments. I would think it an apparentness that cannibals and canoe tippers shouldn't get the same treatment. But yes, you all get different shit that happens to you. Abigail Cunningham? Yes? 
Your bones will be broken every day by a ball-peen hammer for the sin of repeatedly misusing the express lane in grocery stores. But I always have more than 15 things. What? She wasn't even that bad. Dev Sedana and Marcy Sullivan. Uh, no. It's you. I, we just did this like two minutes ago. He knows. Milo, this is it. Okay, this is, we gotta get out of here. Lola, what the hell do you think we can even? Now, for robbing all those liquor stores, Dev will be suspended from a pole by his genitals. What? While children use your head like a tetherball, weather permitting. Marcy, your tits will be consumed by snapping turtles, only for them to regrow larger every day, giving you intense back pain when you jog. But, but, we, we only robbed Jewish liquor stores. <laughs> now, Milo and Lola, for the sin of... <laughs> For the sin of being too late to get assigned to punishment, you get to wander the city until tomorrow. Have fun, see you later, I'm going to get drunk. Wait, um, what is, what's our thing gonna be, our, our torture? Our hours are nine to six, guys. Can't you just tell us now? Come back in the morning when we're open. Okay, but, but what are we supposed to do until then? Sightsee, meet people, might as well carve out your shitting hole. And hey, don't worry, you'll be having maggots forced up your nose soon enough. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Bowlinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride, that's all. You could have fucking told me. Huh? The guy got another ride? Are you like his his friend? I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm being mean. Okay, I'm a psychopomp. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Phlegius, Charon's lost dog. Uh-huh. I'm a, I'm a cab driver. A ferryman, to be, a uh, specific. Oh, a psychopomp. Uh, I'm sure the answer to this is no, but can you, like, ferry us out of here? That depends. Where do you want to go? Um, home, topside, Earth, if if that's if if that's possible. Home. Hmm. The props assist the house until the house is built. Yeah, doctors do warn you that you don't get to take the drapes when that fastball catches the side of your head. You're saying we're stuck here. She's saying we're stuck here. No, it's it's just it's a tall order. That's all. Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. You want to roll with me on a chore I got to do? It's at first an Izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Machidial. Milo. Lola. Mr. Milo? Miss Lola? I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? I promise I won't bite. You get the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Come on, my ride's this way. Won't be a long trip. Uh, so, uh, hell, huh? Yeah, the days have worn away, haven't they? I can tell you cats were new. Dead-eyed and pig-tailed. So I guess I'll hit the questions everyone has. First of all, whatever church you went to, whatever faith, they were a little right and a lot wrong. And if you didn't go to church, you were Ah, oh, here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time, though. Or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather. It's perfectly safe, don't worry. It has a floor for your feet and seats for your ass. Every, uh, everything a vehicular transport would need. Any, uh, any day. Whenever you're ready to get into my car. Oh, okay. It's, uh, the, the seat's wet. Oh, yeah, that's probably your... Okay, everybody in? Great. So, you're dead. You're in hell. It's bewildering, I know. But like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? 
This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell. And provides fairy women like me a job. It used to cost money, but then someone upstairs finally realized we don't really have an economy down here. Huh. I thought the River Styx was a myth, like cat outfits that they actually enjoy wearing. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles. The, uh, conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during punch-in. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call Nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract. The abyss. The outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story. Longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight. We're almost there. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so... And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so just keep your eyes on each other's toes. Play at the shore? How young do you think we are? Look, until you turn 200, you should require a car seat. Your brain's basically a litter box a cat died in. So, not that either of you asked, but this is first an izzard. Hey! Hey! Sam! Sam! What? Did you, did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> Get some better material. How? Anyways, like I was saying, this is first an izzard. There's a lot of cultural stereotypes about these people, and none of them are especially flattering. A lot of sweat and hair. A wet hayride is a euphemism for sex here. First an izzard? Why is it called first an izzard? How the hell am I supposed to know? Why is New York called New York? It's named after the Duke of York. Oh, thanks, Brainiac. Why don't you lecture us on what a rhetorical question is next? Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of people you think we should know? They're the only type you can know. If you wanted a different crowd, you probably shouldn't have drowned all those kittens. We didn't drown any kittens, okay? I would never do that. Yeah, you're pretty allergic. Um, what are you guys eating? Uh, no, whoever he was, he tastes like a prick. 